I heard you open up that can. Mm-hmm. Open up another can. What kind? Are we live? Yeah. Oh. N- <laughs> none. <laughs> you want to scoot up? You're like, I don't know, not in the background? You deserve to be in the front ground. Come on, Spags. So call it the foreground. <sighs> hey, folks. Uh, is this public? Yep, good. Okay, cool. Hello, hello. Oh. Uh, why is there no chat? What do I have to do to get chats? Maybe that'll do it. Did not. Nope. Ah! Ah! I don't know why. No reason why that should work. Oh well. I feel like I've been fighting with live streaming equipment and software this whole week. Just, oh, I'll take those after you're done. Just this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, remember I was telling you the thing to fix on our TV? You're like, this is not, I can't see what this is doing. And I'm like, you have to go do this asinine thing and it will show up right. On the TV? It's oh, not yeah, my yeah, birthday, yeah. but thank you. Yeah, it's called the uh, Audrey's Birthday is Soon uh, edition. It is soon. But it is soon. April doesn't matter, so no. <laughs> it's still March. It's still March. <laughs> it's everybody. March uh, the 41st. Yep. 31 days in March, generally? Yes. Usually? Yes. Aside from this 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 year? Yeah. Man, do I look do I look rough? You look so red. Yeah, I don't know why. Do I look red in real life? A little bit. But hmm. your usual amount of redness. Yeah, that's that's weird. Go Maybe ahead. use your glasses that help with that. Well, I think my webcam is just being a little bit oversaturated for no good reason because it wants to give me fits. Pre birthday. Well, there's no pre-gaming for this birthday. I guess what I'll be doing. Hanging out eating cake, because I'm going to make you a cake. I will have some cake. And ice cream. I got ice cream. There, perfect. Perfect. Now we're classy. There, just a little bit of red. Come on. That's better. Sorry, I got an eyelash in my eye. That's all right. It happens. All right. Happy soon to be birthday. Last year saw you when it was. Uh, Denise said last year she saw you when it was her birthday and almost yours. Um, yeah, from the um, Atlanta show, likely. Yeah. This year she spent hers in total total isolation. Birthday, That's yeah. a lot of isolation there, Denise. Oh, wow. Didn't get cake That's on Monday bad. either. That's too bad. Well, Kinda. happy belated birthday. Yeah. Hi, Nose. What's up, bud? Huh? What's up? It's giving him a hard time. Of course. Uh, glasses are wonderfully bright. They are pretty bright. That's true. And they're just as bright in person. Yeah, that's... I think that's right. The rest of my face is kind of doing my hair in the camera. Ugh. Yeah. Mike looks like he broke quarantine at the beach. <laughs> well, I have been outside. I did uh, just take scraggles for a walk. Out. Yeah. Yeah, Audrey's working out hard. I decided to work out not so hard because... She worked me out very hard yesterday with the Les Mills. Yeah, he did get his strength yesterday. Now I'm a little sore, so, you know. Yeah. Anyway, hey folks, I don't look burned. Well, not now. I, I took care of that a little bit. You weren't out that long either. No, no, I definitely didn't get my face burned. It's just, just the camera Also, wear weird. your sunscreen, everybody. Mm. That's the other thing. I'm bad at remembering to do that. He has been gardening, though. I yeah. have. Yeah, my garden has gotten some, some gardening done, so that's yeah. cool. I like that. Viewer count. Let's move. Who doesn't? Oops, that's not the viewer count at all. That's the chat box. Where'd the viewer count go? There it is. Yes, you stay that's healthy too. Out. Yeah. Ah, here we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Good enough. Good enough. Katie wants right. up. Katie, you want to come up? She has really been about being on the camera. She has. Late, late. There you go. Oh god! Oh. Thirty pounds of cat. Oh, this is a very, this is a very bowling ball cat right here. Three C's, I'd say. At least. At least three yep. C's. Yep. Katy Perry. Yep. Say hi to the crowd, huh? No, not she gonna. She loves his beard. Yeah, Favorite. she does. I like to hide her face in my beard a little bit. Yep. I cut it down. I don't think she likes that. I was getting. Of course not. Much more burst. But you need a new kitten. I mean, that's one way to keep yourself busy. Yeah, that's true. It's a lot of work, a kitten, I imagine. Yeah. I don't think I've ever actually had a kitten. Um, I have 
kitten are we talking well well i guess when i was a kid we had kittens but not for like myself we had one he was young but i don't know if he would say he's a kitten though claire says she stopped wearing sunscreen since she switched to graveyard shift <laughs> well if it's there's yeah. no sun you don't really have to screen against it yeah i mean I at that point so. you have to make sure you're getting enough yeah you know? yeah. yeah yeah go out and sit outside for about five minutes uh, always I fostering. was just going to say fostering. A lot of people are trying to foster right now since they're home and a lot of shelters and everything need. And people are dropping their animals off thinking that they're vectors. But they're not. So. Mm, it's true. Yeah. The WHO let the dogs out. They let, yeah, they let <laughs> the dogs out. So. so, good vibes. Nurse Dave's shaving world. <laughs> Here's a live view of a cat getting in getting in the way, causing shenanigans. She's really nailing it. She really She's is. She's like, look at my hair. Look, look at, my at it all. Yep, yep, yep. So yeah, I hope y'all are uh, hope y'all are all doing well. Everybody is safe, staying indoors. Healthy. She sniffing at nose. Hmm. Nothing, huh? Good. Yep, we're all healthy here though. Yep, everything's cool. Everything's quiet and. Yep. Yeah, Audrey went to work one day this week. One, yeah, on Monday. Yep. So if you got the pink 45s last week, I likely worked on your nib. So. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, look at you. Or any other order over the weekend, I should say. I always say kittens by March. It's rough not having any now. Wow. Yep. Get a chicken. Get a little chick. <laughs> Get a chicken. It's pretty much like a kitten. A chick. I mean, yeah. it's a little animal. Yeah, you can gets... get this time of year. It's true. You can. But then you have them for years. Chickens live a while. It sort of seems fun. Like having a backyard chicken, like a little coop, I think that sort of sounds fun. Okay. Jane Campbell says she did get oh, the pink 45. It is pretty, actually. Yeah, I really like them. They aren't oh, allowed the first to have... time I've seen them. They're allowed to have chickens. Yeah. It is very specific. And Why are you biting my arm? Ordinances about urban livestock. and livestock. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about here, but likely we couldn't. Yeah, it's possible. It's um, bad. I bet we could have chickens. Oh. Come on, Scrags. Come on. You can jump up. Jump up here. Come on. Come on. Anyway. Come. Consider getting broiler chicks, but I don't think my neighbors would be too excited with me processing them in the backyard. Well, like, maybe not. Or maybe soon. That will be a good community resource. And there are fewer eggs. I, when I went... I went and got a or got groceries my one time I went out this week. Yeah. Besides going to work that one day and just stayed in. No eggs. I'm like, there were eggs last time I went shopping. What the heck? Is there a shortage of eggs now? It's Easter. I'm thinking that's why. Yeah, yeah it totally could be. You only want chickens for eggs as you're vegetarian. Yeah. yeah. Happy quarantine Friday. Happy quarantine Friday to you as well. Hey, guy, what's up? Uh, I got, um, like, three pens this week. I got nothing this week. Nothing? Well, that's not that many things. I got skincare, but that is not this, so. Yeah. Outside the realm of everybody here and interests. That's the way it goes. What kind of skincare did you get? Anything fun? I got... Oh, we got that grease we've been putting on our face. Yep. Mike has learned the, the art of the double cleanse. If you don't double cleanse... Consider double cleansing. Your face will appreciate it, mostly. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Try not to buy a 912, huh? Uh, 912 is a nice pen. I got one right here. Boom. What kind of nib are you trying to not buy in your 912? I know uh, our friend WTF Tony got uh, 912 this week, too, with a posting nib. Poe. It's bent like this instead of like this. So it really goes like that. Posting is like this, right? Our old friend Jim Rouse used to say, it looks like that's bent. I could probably fix it for you. That was one of his favorite <laughs> jokes, for sure. All the time. Yep. All or if it was a Waverly or Food A, any of those nibs, he had that joke ready at hand for you. Are you expecting something from Troutman, North Carolina? Nope. Well, me either. <laughs> it's going to be <laughs> delivered by Monday. I guess we'll see. Troutman. Oh, no. His PO looks great. Yeah, it does. I'd like a PO, just kind of, but only really just to have it. Like, they're way too fine for me. Beth, yeah, she knows about the double cleanse. It does just she? Just got started on this year, yeah. I don't really have any idea at all what it's about or why it would work, but 
she tells me it will, so I'll just believe her. Yep. Whatever you do, don't get their music nib. It writes too nice. You know, I actually did a video a while back with Fig Boot, David Parker, where we uh, swapped around all of our uh, music nibs. Because um, we, like, between the two of us, we had most of the music nibs. And uh, the, the pilot was his favorite, and it was not at all mine. Um, I'm a big fan of 3776 music nib, which is like a Yep. Yes, I love talking about skincare anytime. Well, that's not really in focus. You get the idea. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> she talks skincare. Not to do housework. Ugh. Housework is going to be there every day for you. We're only here once a week. So, if, you know, uh -huh. that's, that's, that's my justification. Uh, for not doing housework? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Uh, glad you're, oh, glad you're in live chat. Yeah, I see you now. <laughs> yep. Come on. Scooch it. Really enjoying Crave products. You know about Crave? I know Crave that's spelled like that is a cereal. Isn't it cereal? <laughs> yeah, it is. There it is. Yeah, that. That's what I think of when I think of that. Crave. Weird chocolate-filled cereal things. Start the day with a warm bath followed by clean jam. Yes, that sounds great. <laughs> Decadent indeed. A bath sounds great, huh? When was mean, the last time you took a bath? Never. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have. <laughs> I don't know the last time I took a bath, though. I grew up not really having a bath or like not having a shower really available. There was only one in our house and it was my mom's bathroom and like, it was a, yeah, it was a hassle. It. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so now I don't really take baths. I think one, t our bathtub has been used one time by your mom. Yeah. <laughs> so it. yeah, I'll have to look up a Crave Beauty. I have not, not that I know. She can't even knock that over just yet. Really? She's is she trying. trying? She's trying. So Katy Perry here is trying to knock over. There we go. Great barrier relief. Look, I approve of it just for the name of that. That that, that picture right there, everything is, about that. Yeah, great barrier relief. I uh, I like a good pun. Oh, you do. Oh, you know it. So, uh, scalding baths are your best pain relief. Scalding? Wow. <laughs> and I mean, ow. <laughs> um, hi, Katie. She's like nipping at my arm because I'm not petting her enough. Uh, so I got three pens. One of them is what Katie was trying to knock over and failing, which is actually shocking. Yeah. Yeah, a shocking and B kind of uh, that's kind of a feature right she there. She has a lot of weight behind it. Yeah, it's like uh, that, yeah the candle pin bowling. That's the point of this, yeah. Yeah. So the first thing I got was uh, I guess not first. The first thing I'll talk about is this thing. Um, so Kenro Industries, which is a uh, distributor of all kinds of brands, mostly Italian brands. Yeah. They have any not Italian brands? I guess Esterbrook Esterbro, is a house brand. Yeah. And these guys are Japanese. Um, but yeah, anyway, mostly yeah, Italian yeah, stuff. Japan. They started carrying Y Studio, and uh, I was pretty so psyched about. Uh, she thinks you're talking your phone. Yeah. YT Studio hasn't added support for the Shut series. She thought I said. Her name, turn on YT Studio, and I was pretty soggy sight about. <laughs> You're obviously not clear in your enunciation. My enunciation is poor. Um, so this is uh, this is actually a brass block, I think. Well, this is copper. Yeah. This is brass. So they make all kinds of pens. They make smaller ones that you like um, have like a neck loop or whatever you can wear around your neck. Uh, they make some resin ones, which uh, Anna over at Well Appointed Desk did a review of this week. I was looking at them uh, mm -hmm. on. I don't know, a couple of weeks on here, weeks ago on here. And those look pretty cool. Uh, but I asked for the desk pen because it's the one that I've really been kind of kind of drooling over because it's a good size. I think their smaller pens are too small for my hand. But the desk pen is really, really good. I've actually been using it a bunch the last two days that I've had it. Mm -hmm. And um, it's pretty great, actually. I don't know. Hold it. See how you like it. I don't know if I've even had you hold it yet. It's a little long. It's a little long. It's a little long and a little heavier than I would go for. Yeah? Yeah. I found when I put it down, like, the weight seems to go on the paper and not, like, I don't have to, like, muscle it around too much. It's still a little back heavy for me. A little back it's heavy It's too for you. long and a little back heavy for me. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah. But, yeah. It's a little slippery, too. I don't know. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Because, like, the, there's, the section is tiny on it. 
So I don't really have a lot to grip onto. Oh, you mean and it's so short? It yeah, it sort of becomes unwieldy because it doesn't fit hmm. right in my hand. Huh. All right. I mean, again, I like the way it looks and everything, oh, but cool. just for me. For me, I, I've been holding it pretty far up, and it's been working uh, out. My grip is a lot different than yeah, yours. Yeah, it's so way different. It's different, yeah. But I like the way they rounded off the or Oh, yeah, that, that doesn't... I'm glad because it's so short, but it doesn't... It's very smooth transition from yeah. the section to the barrel. Yeah. I mean, you can sort of... You can see this, this uh, like, machining gap. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty uh, evident, but... Feel-wise. Yeah, you know. it feels just fine. Yeah. I don't really notice it. I'm starting to get a little bit of uh, tarnish right here. I've been holding it, so that's, that's going down. That's Mike with his hands. Yep. Hi, Katie. She's helping. <laughs> She's do totally helping. Thanks. Uh, one thing I did <laughs> I did notice about these is that, whoa, okay, here we go, is that they've got a lot of different metals going on here. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Well, in terms of, I'm okay because they're all metals and they sort of just fit together, hmm. you know. Okay. Number two, the gold nib color, I think, ties it together well. Even though that's brass, it's close enough to gold, just to the eye, that I think that it... Come on. Ah, let's get down. You're attacking my hand every chance you get. I'm done with that. So you, th you think that's close enough and doesn't it like ties it together a little bit? Yeah. That's yeah, what right. I think. So. Sorry, I was getting mauled by a cat I in know, the middle of your talk. Um, this base is very heavy. Yeah, like, it is. I think it was 333 grams or something like that. What does that mean in terms of real... Numbers? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Um, breaking out the scale. Cat's here. Brian's here. Hello, everybody. Oh, wait, Cat's here? Yeah. Hey, Cat. Oh, driving Harry home. How's Harry doing? She yeah. said there was a pet emergency she had to run to the vet for. I didn't see that. It must have been a pretty today. short... Uh, oh, it was 11.7 ounces, There we go. Thank you. I've got... Oh, third one. That's the, with the pen. Yeah. I thought you were doing it on a purpose. 11.7 ounces, indeed. Look at that. Yep. Uh, the whole thing together is uh, 13.1. Soft so. tissue sprain from his tripod leg. Oh. Oh, he's having a little bit of a, a limp, huh? Oh, that's too bad. Shot of pain meds and is now stoned and comfortable. Well, that's good. <laughs> it's interesting that the, the chat is hitting on this screen before it hits on yeah, like, the YouTube side. Yeah, that is interesting because I usually look over there, so yeah, it's I'm messing used me up to too. it. Yes, yeah, so this is heavy enough that even uh, Katie Purry slamming her face into yeah, a Yeah, you don't have any of the brass pen walls to compare. Oh, I don't have any, you yeah. You just have the I have the, the wooden wood. one. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't... And then the other ones, that's really different. Mm hmm The Traveler. Man, yeah, the Traveler one is at my... Is at work. Yeah. On my desk with my... Gone forever, basically. Never going to see it again. On my beautiful standing desk that I just got set up. Yeah. And my FC uh, Pocket 66 is there. My trout and my inkwell. Or uh, my penwell. Uh, my plants. The thing is, That's... he doesn't know if he can even get in the building anymore. Oh, I so. can't. I'm pretty sure I can't. I think it's locked down forever, so. Womp womp. Mm, I don't bad. know. I'm glad Harry's doing well-ish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, getting but... on the mend, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, Br oh Brian's got a brass pen yeah. well. Well, if you're home, Brian. Well, I was just saying that, yeah, yeah. you don't have one to yeah, do yeah. right now, so we didn't have to. Yep. Bought a standing desk two weeks before you were furloughed. Uh... <laughs> Ugh. Is that at work? I thought you were working from home mostly. Or you have one at home. I've been tempted to buy one for the house. They're but not cheap. They're not too bad. You can get one for like 400 bucks ish It's down than it used to be. Oh, yeah. It used to be like $1,500. Like over 1000 Yeah, yeah. No, you can get a nice one for like four or 500 bucks. Hmm. With like a bamboo top and mm -hmm. you know, at least as big as this and stuff. So, Give me a better sight. It says the brass one is 16 ounces. Well, that's a lot more metal. Okay. Those are a bigger... A bigger device. Are you just going to stare at me and make noises? Yes. Here, let me scooch okay. over. There, now you can jump up. Come, Come on. on. Jump up. You know you want to. Come on. So, uh, I have one. I'm too lazy to go to the kitchen to get the scale. Fair. Come on. Oh, hers is at the office. Thanks. Everyone else is Everyone else is good. Glad to have some Madison cheer. There <laughs> you go. Scraggle says hello. She, she's been coming up every week now. Yeah, she kind of has, hasn't she? Yeah. Instead of staying, staying in the bedroom and sleeping. Little goose. What'd you miss? You missed. We're talking about an L Studio? Y Studio? Y Studio? Y Studio, no, the, different alphabet. The Y Studio what? desk pen. 
is this. Yeah, I was, um, uh, I have an unboxing video I'll have up for this later oh, on. Okay. I figured I'd go ahead and talk about it now anyway, because, you know, yeah. there's not that many people watching. There's some invisible number of people watching that I totally can't see. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, not too many. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I like this a lot so far. I was kind of hoping to get the black one, the brassing version, mm -hmm. which is like, it's a brass pen, and then they coat it with black. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a lacquer. It's like just a paint. Like, it's meant to be scratched off. Like, oh, take I think wear I remember stuff, saying, you know? or in an email that they sent out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, and if you don't subscribe to the newsletter for Kenro, do that because they have a lot of um, sample sales most weeks. Really? Yeah. I don't think I, I don't think I get those. I just got one the other day. Yeah. Sample so sales. So like, oh yeah, so we have ones that we brought to pen shows that are on sale. So. Well, somebody has not been telling me about those. I just assume that you got what you wanted, yeah, and so you I just agree. you could talk to we we know Carrie. We're friends with Carrie, and if you wanted anything, then you could say, "Hey, could I look at this?" Hmm. Yeah. Um. Oh, two other things. Uh, but yeah, definitely get that Kenro newsletter. Uh, I. I was going to check my email. It's actually, I'm going to check my email. Do you want me to forward I... it to you if I kept it? Yeah. It's probably in my junk mail. Like, a lot of stuff goes to my junk mail, unfortunately. Uh, spam? Okay. Getting a lot of e So, I have a question. Have you guys been getting a million more emails than normal? Because hmm. I swear, I wake up to just dozens and dozens of emails when I would not get this many pre- BC before COVID. <laughs> I'm gonna go sign up for it because I don't know. I didn't even find it in my spam folder. Uh, does Audrey have a good haircut? You're getting bushy. Oh, how does Audrey have a good haircut? Well, I'm growing my hair out. That's how. So I got <laughs> yeah. it cut before BC, <laughs> and now it's just going. Is how this is happening. I'm not saying it's a. It's just not bad either. Yes. What? I don't know what you, you're talking about. Antique Glass are online now. Oh, so ant emails, Antique but, Glass is online, eh? Apparently. Fancy. Um, Let's see here. I don't know. I don't see how to sign up for their thing, but whatever, ma'am. Uh, like, OMG, so many emails. I don't so. remember how I got on this mailing list. Yeah, I don't know how to Maybe get Maybe I got it at a show. I'm not yeah. sure. Here. I'll, which one do you want me to send it to? Inkdependence. Okay. Um, Ooh, I don't know if I've ever sent you an email. Mike at inkdependence.com. Uh, twice as many from work as you can imagine. Well, I bet. Um, we were for a while there from the university. Hi. We were from the university getting a... The, the joys of being a cat parent indeed. Say, so are we back? No idea. Say, so are we back? No idea. Okay, good. <laughs> I had to wait for the stream over here to catch up with real time uh, to see if it was actually yeah. live. All right, cool. Yeah, so my cat decided to get underneath my computer table here and knock over a power strip uh, hard enough to knock the box that I had taped over the switch off of the switch and turn it off. So yeah. shut down everything uh, in the, the vicinity. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, figured your internet or your computer was overburdened. Nope, uh, it's fine. Just Katy Perry Cats. must be a virus. Did, did the video die? Uh, everybody's like, yeah, I think it was the connection's dead. Must be the virus. <sighs> nope, not Corona. We're okay. Just Katy Perry. Mm -hmm. Oh, Katy Perry came over and turned off the power then. We be uh, saying, okay. All right, cool. You do what you want, Katy Perry. Um, hashtag relatable. Leave for five seconds and this happens. Mm -hmm. I blame you, Feta. I blame <laughs> you. Uh, we are back. You see us. Cool. Now, uh, you can clearly see how the screen is on. Good. Yeah. Welcome back. Hello from France. Hello, <laughs> France. Good pouncer. Oh, no, it's she's just... late there. Is it late in France? I mean... Hey, John. Pretty much. Pretty okay. late. I don't know how time works over there. What's up? 
This dog. I think I have worn her out. Yeah. So. Getting her walks every day. Like, yeah. longer ones, yeah. She's gotten two or three miles a day, basically. So. <laughs> Is anyone here aisle? Your, your phone really wanted to type aisle, didn't it? Um, but, uh, no, I don't know. Uh, we're certainly not. We're okay. Hope y'all are all doing yeah. well as well. Um, okay, what was I doing? I was going to talk about these other two pens, wasn't I? We were talking about Kenro, and I just forwarded to you the oh, email. Oh, the email. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see what they got. Hopefully it came through. We'll see. Um, maybe. We got a pen chalet email. There we That's go. Me. What's Pen Chalet? 10% off Easter sale at Pen Chalet. Cool. Can you combine? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. Combine what? Like there's there's Pen Attic one, right? Oh, yeah. No, I think you probably only get one. Yeah. You can get 10% off at Kenro with code KEN409. All right. And that's the Diamond Cast one up there that you just passed. It's pretty. Uh, let's see it's still like a one-off, I think. Let's see. So in case you guys never get this, let me see. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, is that the diamond cast one? Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. More pictures in there. I, think I don't think good. it's. I don't think it's as pretty as mine, but it's all right. I do like their nibs. It's a good looking nib. It is a. I like the scroll work on that. I think this pen looks dope, but and the case is cool, but it's too expensive for me right now. Hmm. Uh, 50% off leather cases. There's the Y Studio. Comes in a ballpoint. This is not a bad little uh, newsletter -y thing. Esther wrote prototypes under 20 bucks. Well, gonna have to turn that off so I can uh, shop for that. But anyway. Wait, probably the worst haircut of his life. What's going on here? Yeah. Um, Thanks, Braden. Good pounce. Welcome. Dog has become so much more clingy. <laughs> Hey kids, hey Tony, what's up? Dogs love helping you home. I think Scraggs likes having me home. Oh, I think I am wearing her out. She's getting more walks and not enough, uh, not enough, uh... Sleep. Sleep. Yeah, not enough naps. Yeah. Um, need to bite the bullet and groom your dog? Eh, just shave him down. Our daycare is still running. Yeah. Like, well, daycare, they have the grooming there, too. Yeah, the doggy daycare, yeah. Samir, so the new Conklin be kind of freaky? What, uh, which Conklin are you talking about? Um, Brayden, cats are super clingy too. Cats, I don't think really care about us being home that much. I mean, I think they're cool with it. They hang yeah, out with us most of the but time. but they still, they're mostly sleeping and doing mm. their own thing all day. And then yeah. in the evening, they're, they hang out, sleep with us, or sleep around <laughs> us. <laughs> Go ahead and end the sentence. <laughs> uh, Look, words. Can't even get your dog's nails trimmed. Uh, that's the only thing we can't do with Scraggles is trim her nails. She hates, she hates it. it. At the at the groomers though, they have like the little motor file thing. It's called vroom, 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 and they're professionals. But anyway, barbers are closed in Colorado. Yeah, we are yeah, too. Yeah, we are too. We are too. Mike uh, wants me to cut his hair too. Yeah, yeah. Well, cut, cut my hair. I just want to shave my head. Just like, not to the skin, but like you know, just. Try to shave my head, start over. No, yours is fine. Mm. Hi. Think of dogs being needy. She is being needy. Really is. Your wife cut your hair? Yeah, Brian actually got a pretty good haircut, actually. Tony's going to shave his head, too? All right, we'll be... Uh, I have vaginal hubris. I feel like I could do poetry. it. What? <laughs> Isn't that the word for it? No. Well, I just feel uh, like I could do something. I, I feel like I would be good at it, and I have no reason. Just regular why. hubris. <laughs> well, Look, if you woman, think you'd be good at it, then you know. I just think it, I would be okay at it, it's which good. I have no reason to. Yeah. I have a steady hand. Maybe it's because I have a steady hand. Look, I wanted you to shave my head, my head on stream, but I didn't do it. I don't know. Cat's uh, hair is barely purple. It's a tragedy. Aww. Gonna have to go get some of that. Um, uh, what's the the stuff you buy at the grocery store to color your hair? Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, like the Clairol? Yeah, like that. Like some Clairol. Just yeah. some Clairol purple. See, it's Cat's new favorite phrase. <laughs> it's from uh, uh, the league. Is where you pick that up from. <laughs> <laughs> it's only from that? That's it. Are you that's, sure? That's all it's ever been from. Are yeah. you serious? That's where it came this from. This whole time, I really <laughs> yeah. thought it was just like a common no, phrase. That's it's, why. Oh. It's not. I'll, I'll remind you of the context later. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 
I didn't say, it's not like it's a bad word that no, I said. True. I was just like, what are you doing? Family stream. <laughs> <laughs> My wife does hair. Client's angry. She won't do their hair despite the governor's orders. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Didn't realize it's one of those podcasts. Yes, I'm one of those oh, people. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, my um, Sherry, who does our hair, uh, sent a text like, hey, are you going to keep your appointment this week? I was like, no, but I will pay you. So I just went ahead and paid her. Yeah. I didn't pay her for yours, though, because I didn't know you had one. Mm. So, anyway. Scraggles. Goodness. Goodness. Yeah. Uh, so I did get uh, two other pens from a friend, my... Uh, Friend was selling off some yeah. to allergies and because of my immunological situation. Unfortunately, can't deal with having cats or dogs as pets. Um, yeah. I get it. That's yeah. uh. I'm apparently really allergic to cats. Really? Yeah. Weird. Too uh, good thing we have three of them. Okay. You seem okay though. My body's not gonna. Well, I t- you know, I take stuff. Yeah. I'm used to it. Here's some pens. So I got two. Uh, I've been teasing these too much, I think. Uh, so the first one. Oh, the Conklin Coronet. Oh, I'll have to check that out in a sec. So this is a Lamy Persona, which is the older version of... This thing's like really out of focus now. I think it's probably because everything got shut down. Well, let me focus my camera right quick. Lackle. Lackle. Uh, focus, yes, turn that off. There, wow, uh, so much better. Let's get a little bit more. There. Um, so... <laughs> This is the Lamy Persona, which um, stopped weird. being made a little while ago. Yeah. It's kind of a weird pen. Um, Not uh, in a bad way, just different. Yeah. yeah, if Dapper Man is in here, then he can tell you all about these, because he, uh, he is an expert on this particular pen. This is my first one, but I've had my eye on him for a while. This, uh, this finial at the bottom like just kind of spins a lot. Persona has a little Skyline vibe. Yeah, a little bit. A little okay, bit. Okay, I could see that, yeah. It's got uh, this awesome clip. I'm really a big fan of this clip. You like push it down and yep, they're here. Uh, and it becomes like a regular clip, but it just like folds up. It's this awesome spring actuated thing. And then it unscrews in like, seems like less than one turn. It unscrews super quickly because of how many threads there are. Just a couple yeah. down here. Surprise Wall Ever Sharp didn't claim the coronet name first. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Stop being made in 2010. I didn't even know it was that recent actually. Uh, it has a 14K nib. Um, yeah. Dapper Man was saying in his most recent blog post that they made an 18K nib, too. Really? Yeah. Hmm. But it's this uh, unique nib that, like, wraps around. It's got yeah. this tubular thing going on. That's like, really interesting, yeah. They did some of this with the, um, something like this, anyway, on Visconti, I want to say it was. Huh? Had their, oh. like, their chromium nibs or whatever for that one series. Yeah. Uh, it was made 1990 to 2010. It's a converter <laughs> converter cartridge pen. It is pretty sweet. What, and it even came with one? Yeah. Wow, that's mm. nice of them. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's not 10 the, bucks right there. Well, it's not the standard Lamy converter either. It doesn't have ears. Uh, this is... This is, it is. Yeah, no yeah, no right. ears. Just, hmm. So, um, let's see. Uh, what material is the barrel? You know, I'm not really sure what material the barrel is. I think it might be Macrolon. Uh, Dapper Man probably yeah, knows a bit more about that. it sort of seems like that to me. Yeah, it looks and feels like Macrolon. Yeah. doesn't smell like anything. Converter is a screw-in one, but should be able to take a standard... Oh, really? Oh. This one... Hmm, does it have threads in there? I don't know. Are there? I've never seen a screw-in converter for a, for this, but it doesn't. I don't see threads. I mean, it's dark. It's probably hard to tell. It is hard to. Get. Oh, you know what? There actually might be. Those might be threads. I don't know. It's hard to say. I've never seen a screw-in converter for one of these. That's cool. Mm-hmm. But neat. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, yeah, so I think it's Macrolon, but it's got an interesting, like, s- stepped section going on here. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's not common either. Yeah. I've never really seen anything like that. Yeah. I haven't actually put ink in it yet. Oh, no? No. Uh, the cap does kind of like a go when you post it. That's nice. It posts on this thing here. Nice. It's pretty nice. It's also, it's very heavy when you post it, like, very back heavy. You're going to hate it. I'm not sure what the fluted shape is brass. Yeah, this one's definitely not. Oh, yeah. I didn't, mm, too Way much. too heavy. Yeah. yeah. It's nice that it does that, but it's not. This is a, this is a heavy cap. Yeah. The cap is heavier than the pen yeah. by a good amount. Uh, but I think this is this is going to be perfectly fine. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to using this one. I have no idea what size nib it is because, weirdly, the nibs are not marked. Hmm. It just says Lamy 585 14K. I mean, that 
kind of that sort of shape often they don't put the size you know maybe I mean, I mean that's a weird shape in itself but any of those yeah. sort of inlay looking sort of nibs like that shape mm. they don't really mm. what annoying but anyway i think it's probably about what is it? yeah. probably about a medium ish yeah. it's got interesting looking tipping on there you want a little loop it looks like it might be miscellaneous she's gonna look at it for me it's nice having a Nice having an in-house nib doctor. And the other one is uh, this one, which is, I'm pretty sure, a Schaefer uh, Legacy, which is in the all silvery, silver and gold trim here. It looks like maybe a fine to me. A fine, you think? I, I mean, again, what do I know? I don't know. Uh, this one, however, is definitely a broad, uh, and it's kind of one of those stubby factory broads. So I'm pretty psyched about that. It look, yeah, so on this one, it looked like the... I yeah, it looked like it might be a tiny bit misaligned. I might play with it, but I, I don't know how it feels. Yeah, I don't know how it feels yet either. It looks like it looks like the tipping is kind of like taller this way than it is wide. Mm -hmm. Like it's almost architecty or something. No, no, it doesn't. It just looks like it... That happens with certain nibs. It's mm -hmm. a little bit more round like there's mm. more going on vertically than others happened with this one anyway yeah um this is a uh let's see if i can get it to focus those are such nice looking nibs yeah they're, they're gorgeous really nibs cool. um like these i don't know i don't think i can get it to make it make it fine enough to see it's dark yeah uh, but it also comes with a uh squeeze converter in here that's squeezy yeah. and also it does this thing are those bad? Squeeze converters? That one? No, that was fine. I, I mean, I know people complain about certain squeeze converters, but I've never really no. heard people complain about those so much. The Monteverde ones uh, yeah. are the... Is it Monteverde? Yeah, Kaveco has one. They're kind of, and the They're Pilot had like one it. that was kind of yeah. junk. Not too, yeah, um, that's the other one I was thinking. But no, about. these are fine. Okay. But it also does this, where you unscrew the finial and pull this out, and it does like a vacuum suck S action. Hopefully they can hear that. <laughs> they can, I'm sure. Uh, and uh, I'm not sure if that actually actuates or like compresses the converter that, in here yeah. or not. Um, but I don't really know a whole lot about this. Pen. It still makes that noise. You can do that. So I mean, that means there's some kind of vacuum going yeah, on. Has to. I haven't put ink in it yet, so I don't know. But otherwise, this is totally gorgeous. I'm, I'm a big fan of this one. How old is that? Don't know. Hmm. I am not a. I'm not an expert. I think these are from the 90s, but I could be wrong. I'm not a yeah. vintage expert. Suck, suck, suck. That's what it does. Maybe. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, so those are my those are my two pens that I bought this week. Well, I guess I bought them last week sometime, and mm -hmm. then I sort of forgot about them because like I'm all like, the time. Where, where is this package coming? You thought it was for me, and it was for you. Yeah. yeah. It's packaged. I'm like, I'm not it's expecting anything. <laughs> and I thought it was Audrey's, and I saw it with my name on it. I'm like, that's weird. Mm -hmm. And I looked at who it was from, and I was like. Huh, yeah. whose name is that? Because I think of them by their internet name. So. It's the same as the old touchdown shapers. Huh? Uh, yeah, right. I just didn't know if it actually worked. Like, if it worked that way. Yeah. I know that's the same mechanism, but I didn't know if... Because those just have, like, that's a right. sack in them. Touchdown. They don't have the whole, yeah. like, converter assembly. But, I don't know. It seems pretty cool. Um, oh, I already did show off the interesting clip mechanism. This guy right here. Yeah. Um, this is like the Lamy Impressa is the new version of this. I think this is nicer than the Impressa. Um, minus a little bit of like, I don't know, weird pitting or something that I've got going on in the back of the cap. But it's definitely it's a user not, grade pen. Yeah. It's not going to bother me, but yeah. I mean, if I can like I polish mean, it off or something, I will. Oh yeah, so. I got a crazy deal. So that was good. But uh, yeah, it's so. Totally worth it. I think so. I think those were a great buy, yeah. personally. Uh, I think it's the old new model. It did just make a bad joke about similarities from the model name. Did you check on the cornet. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, so Brian, does it work the same as the old touchdowns? I mean, I guess I could just put it in some ink or whatever and try. <laughs> it's not, you know. Two push converters, one Parker, one Pilot. They work okay, but cleaning them for an ink swap, that just takes forever. Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. true. Um, I think the one that's in this pen, the Con 70 or whatever, is also a huge pain in the butt. That's yeah. a like button converter. It's very yeah. strange. Um, it's really hard to get all the ink. As you yes, can see, like it gets stuck that, around. I have this. one of those. Yeah. yeah. 
It holds a lot more ink than the rest it of does. the converters. That's... So it's got that going. It has that going, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I. I think I didn't have my peak design bags last week either. I think I got those like Saturday after the stream. I thought you should have showed them last week. Did we talk about uh, peak design bags on here last week? Because I don't remember. I think so. And you talked about the one being newer versus older. And it has hmm. a more. Yeah, it says it does work. Collapses the sack oh. in the conveyor and releases it. Cool. Good. Neat. I'm going yeah. to give that a try because I think it's a cool mechanism. I like it. Um, so yeah, did I talk about bags last week? Because if I didn't, Feliz Cumpleaños. Yeah. Uh, happy birthday Feliz to you. Feliz Cumpleaños. You're better at that than I am. Let's see. Let's see. Gracias. All my Spanish is food or swearing. That's, that's what I know about. Fair. Um, nobody has said that I did talk about those bags. So did we talk? I mean, I thought we did, but... Well, I did the unbagging of one of them this week, so I don't think I did. Maybe I'm just thinking about not wanting to talk about bags, because I don't know anything about bags. Oh. We talked about games last week a lot. Probably did. That I do remember. So I got two, and I think I'm only keeping one. But... Um, right now, Peak Design has a sale going on, and uh, so I got two because, like, returning it costs eight bucks or something, so it's not too bad. And they never have sales. Right? And they never do sales, yeah. So I was like, well, I'll give it a shot right now. So um, this is the modern version two uh, six liter. Oh, and the Tiger King ass. We talked about that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's right. Games and Tiger King. Was That's last what it week. was. Um, this is the six liter sling bag. Goes over your shoulder and stuff. It's got like a little clip here and it's got this little, you know, quick release guy for Thanks, loosening it up on your shoulders. Has a nice zip around pocket. Opens up thusly. Has these really good dividers that you can make in different shapes and stuff. Damn peak, my closet has more bags than Marcos has shoes. <laughs> well, that's the way it goes with these sometimes. A little pocket up in here and then like there's a but dang, Pocket they're not cheap. These aren't cheap, no. no. Um, that's the problem with them. That's why I was psyched about a sale. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this was, I think, 60 bucks, which is... On I sale? Mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think so. Um, but, um, yeah, I didn't think I was going to like this that much. I thought it was looking kind of boring. But um, it's actually very nice. So this might be the one I keep. I wish... That well, no, I'm maybe I don't wish that. But I like the. We already have the gray, but yeah. I like the gray. I like gray more than I like black, and so that's why I would like that. Oh, and gray. Yeah, but maybe not because you, you already know. have one that's that gray. Oh, this one's real but nice I like too. That. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I just keep them all. Just every bag. And this is the older. To take them where? Right? That's the thing. <laughs> like, oh, you're collecting bags during like, quarantine. I know. So All my favorite bag companies are running sales. So, like, well, it's actually over no, now. No, you're, you're out you of are here. You are banned from nope. the desk for now. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, all my favorite bag companies are having sales. So, I just got one from, I ordered one from Evergoods yesterday because it was on sale. And, like, they don't really do that. Thanks, Becky. And, and happy belated birthday to you since yours was last week, too. Whose was? Becky. Oh, there it is. Just yep. popped up. After all this, we'll need a stimulus package to pay off our intermode shopping bills. Well, look, I'm, I'm helping out smaller makers. That's yeah. that's what I'm doing. None well, of I mean, these that's things... That's why they're having sales. I mean, that yeah. it's tough, and so... Any... Yeah, times is tough. Yeah. Uh, so this is the, the version 1 10 liter, which I think is substantially... I mean, it's substantially bigger than the 6 liter. It's almost double, some yeah, might say. Some might, even some say. might say almost double. Uh, but it's got a uh, different sort of strap arrangement. Kind I don't of the know same, if I love that on it. You don't like the, the brown accent? I the, don't the know. Handle? It, it's very modern looking with the gray and black. I think that yeah. is not the right... I don't know. What do I know? What do I know? It's just my... Well, it's just your know. personal preference. Yeah. That's fine. But I like everything else about um, it. And this is a bag that I actually didn't know how it worked mm -hmm. until I got it. I th I was wrong about... Yeah, that's right. You yeah. really talked about that. So this looks like it's going to have a... Like this is going to be a... A strap down opening that goes over the top, and I thought 100%. that'd be pretty cool, like a yeah. little messenger bag. Yeah. Um, that is not at all what's going on here. Nope. Um, what's going on here is you have this pocket right here, which has like little organizational deals in here, a few of. 
And then, you know, there's not that much room. Like, you throw a phone in there or something. Yeah, but then, yeah. you open this guy up, undo these straps, and this front pocket gets gets real, deep, gets real big. Like, there's all kinds of room in there when you open those straps. So, like, that's kind of cool. And you can put a tripod or whatever in these straps if you want. Because this is really meant to be a camera bag. Kind of all their stuff is camera first. Perhaps a yoga mat. It's not you could throw a yoga mat in there, I think. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. The bottom. Yeah, if you yeah. wanted to. Yeah. Um, and then the top opens up this way. And you have a bunch of space in there. There's a pocket here that'll take a laptop or a tablet. You can throw a 13-inch MacBook Pro in there, apparently, which was my old mm -hmm. laptop. Which one do I keep? I don't know, man. It's tough. I was like, I'm definitely going to keep the black one. And I started playing with this one again. I'm like, I don't know. I kind of like this one, too. This has like a little zippery spot. Maybe I just keep both. I don't know. I think if you do just want to keep one of them, I would go with the black one. The black one? Yeah. So, the, th but, the, I mean, the reason I, I probably wouldn't keep both is because neither of these will take my current laptop, which is a 15 inch yeah. MacBook Pro. And so, like, uh, put the black one in the gray one. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I'm going to give it a shot. I think I can. Um, but. So both of them will carry my iPad, but neither one will carry my laptop. So I'm not sure I need two bags just for that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so. Then again, I have another, I have a five liter sling too. So like, do I want a five and a six instead of a five and a 10? Too many questions. Does it fit? Well. Not fully, but mostly. Mostly. Yeah. Maybe if I mash, yeah, I bet if I took the dividers out of this one, I could mash yeah. it down small I enough. wouldn't mash it, but yeah, it mostly yeah. fit. No. Mostly, yeah. These dividers are so darn good. They have these little tiny Velcros, and then they split right here, so you can put, like, camera lenses and stuff in them and nestle them down in your bag and make all kinds or of things. Or other stuff. I mean, I don't know what else, but I'm sure there are lots of things that... So I put a water, I use one as a water yeah. bottle, so I'll, like, yeah. put one kind of close to the edge. Like, one step closer to the edge. Like one, like one or two steps closer, closer to the edge, like these. I, I, I hope like somebody a, else out there got that. Oh, they that. did. Okay, yeah. good. And uh, that makes it like a water bottle pocket. It's a knee pad. It does look like those knee yeah, pads you use for putting in flooring. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Like the the early knots. The early knots. The odds. Odds. The oddies. Yeah. Yeah. Stick them on the wall like on like on Animal Crossing. Uh, I do yeah, have a, I go. do have an Animal Crossing room now. I, I got a second room in my in my house. How much does that cost? Uh, Three hundred and something thousand bells. Are we gonna get up on Sunday and buy more turnips? Oh, absolutely. Tulip? It's the only Tur turnips, Sam. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I don't know which one I'll keep, but like probably maybe the black one. I don't know. They're both very weather resistant, all that kind of jazz. So. Yeah, I just like the way without the the brown, which I said I don't care well so you can much. see it from the front really I so mean, still i like how this looks but i like the organization how that one's set up more not really that different you like you mean you just like this better yeah this front opening yeah i think i might That's too I like. yeah that was one of the big improvements they were supposed to have made yeah. so anyway those are that was my those are my that was my bag splurge you got it alexander what I'm talking about. what's that and I'm about to break. That's right. That's it. Um, so yeah, there's um, that's all the things. Yeah. Those, those are all the things. I've been doing ink reviews. Mm, yeah. I've been working on a, up, yeah. on a big paper review. Big paper review. That's going to take a long time. It's, it's gonna, probably, probably yeah, not this week. Yeah, I'm going to put it off. <laughs> Claire says she just missed turnips this week. you got to set an alarm is what I did. Yeah, you forget. Yes. or yeah. They're only they're only selling two turlet. Turlet? They're only selling turlets. <laughs> from uh, uh, 6 a.m. to 12 p.m., so that's so I'm usually asleep. Audrey, don't want you to miss an, an authentic Spanish happy birthday from Roberto. Uh, oh, that's my mom. Hey, mom, Hello. what's up? Roberto? Where's Roberto? He said, Feliz cumpleaños. I didn't see it. Oh, yeah, that's where we were saying that you were. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, like an A and no. Not that kind of big. Well, yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't miss it. Um, also, everybody say hi to my mom because yeah. uh, she'll hate that. <laughs> yeah. And my parents yeah. are gonna be watching after the fact too. They always watch. They'll sit there and so apparently they were having this thing where um, 
you know how sometimes Mike has tentacle difficulties in the beginning, and so they thought that the video wasn't showing, oh, yeah. but it's indeed showing. It's just it shows his coming soon or whatever it comes up, and so they just thought it wasn't working. And then we're like, no, fast forward for a while, it comes up eventually. So hello from the past. Yeah. Now I'm blushing and ducking your face at your keypad. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just glad that I finally got my mom to say stuff on the stream. So that's yeah. good. Good, good. Oh, up about 20 messages. Yeah, no, she said it better than I did. So, you know. Uh, at least I'm getting off work at 8 a.m. So it's pretty easy. Yeah, there you go. It's perfect uh, timing for you. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to behave I'm yourself? I'm surprised you let her up here again. She sort of did it on her own. And I didn't want to get scratched to death. So I, I just let her... There's a cat up here, and she is very excited. Oh, the cat cam. There she is. There she is. <laughs> That's her. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Madison, look at somebody being very, uh, very proper. Yeah. My mother did used to um, uh, enforce a rule that if my friends called and they didn't say, hello, Mrs. Madison, can I speak to Michael? Um, they wouldn't get to speak to me. Oh, wow. That's... Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Did you see do Brad, Mad... Did I see Brad do Mad Libs wrong this week? Yes. Yes, I did. I tuned Coppin in and he was... Coppin' in our Mad Libs. I know. Coppin' our style. That reminds me. Hey, y'all want to do a Mad Lib? Might have a... Might have a Mad Lib here. Okay. Let's see. Are we just going to make up our own words? What do you mean? Didn't he like just make up ones that fit properly? Oh, I don't know. Isn't I think he was just he trying to do it, it like I, I didn't. I got in on like the second Mad Lib, so I don't know how he really screwed uh. up the first one. Um, I think he just didn't like count how many of a thing he needed. So be entertaining for a sec. I'll count how many of these. You we know, need. I was just thinking. Um, I think it's funny that we have Katie down here in the cat cam cat you need to have your cam then we can have a cat and cat cam on our live stream he read the sentences out loud you're supposed to read the sentences out loud no, i think oh. again he was yeah oh. and was trying to yeah that's not how that works no no you can't do that one, one, oh well see you later david one. yes time to eat too it's pizza two, friday here three, four, five, six, yeah, he was reading it and then asking for a word instead of just asking for a word. Oh, no, that's yeah, all wrong. On, One, two, three. That is. Four. That's Bush League right there. <laughs> five, Sorry, six. Brad. I love you, though. <laughs> he doesn't watch these. It's totally fine. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah, close I'm going to attach go to, GoPros to our cats. Oof. Clipsy definitely would not uh, approve of that. She doesn't like having anything else around her neck or anywhere on her. Katie, Katie, you probably wouldn't mind so much. She'd be fine with it. Nose, I don't know. He probably would try to take it off too. See you later, Rick. Oh, wait. S and happy point. Easter to you. It's candy weekend. It's cake and candy weekend. That's why I was working out so hard, so I could have cake and candy all the time. Yeah. Thank you, Katie. Hmm. At least I got them. Okay, these are all in order. Um... Buddy, just one. Verbs. Don't knock that over now. <laughs> I know. You're a pest. Just one verb? Just one verb. Okay. My kids used to stack pennies on one of our cats. Got to almost 20. What? Oh, while it was asleep or something? I guess. I'd believe it. Our cats, I don't think would be okay with that. All right, got to run. Oh, see you later, Rick. Take care. It's not like you're going to attach GoPro. Oh, yeah, no, I'm just catching up. I've been, I've been reading them. Good. I've been discussing it. All right. Um, we, need, uh, we need a number. Just one. Just one number. One of numbers, please. First one. First one gets it. Six. Six. Okay, next. Uh, nouns. We need eight nouns. Eight nouns. Some of them so, are going to be plural. I'll just pluralize them as I as I need. So I will announce ones as they come up. Eight of nouns. Cat food. Pens. It's two. Phone. Pie. P-I. Coffee mug. Bubble gum. How many more do you need? Um, Beans. Uh, hold on. 
Uh, beans is plural. Virus. Oh. Um. Rubber band. Aardvark. Bathtub. Rocket. A second aardvark. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he saw that and was like, no, I want to be in there twice. Uh, I think that's all the nouns that's, they need. That's it, I think. Uh, now we need adjectives. Several, Adjective. we need like six of Lots them. Lots of adjectives. Katie, can I scooch you at least? Perfect. <laughs> Give them time. They have to think of something. Do you see the first one? Brusque. Yep. Yep. Shiny. Small. Excitedly. Nope, that's an adverb, isn't it? That's an adverb. I think so. Sleek. Long nosed. I like that one, John. Flowery. Sketchy. I think we might actually have gotten them. Is that um, it? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, uh, one more. Oh, sketchy. Sketchy, yep. Let's Kim, see. you just gave us four. You're way behind. Four? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not to call you off. I love it. It's, just, <laughs> it's the first one we did. <laughs> Put that down. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it became a butt cam here. No more butt cam. This has been quite the... Quite the stream here, you guys. I know. Uh, I need, <laughs> um, <laughs> I need uh, two parts of the body. Plural. Two parts of the body that plural are plural. Plural body parts. Oh, four is an adjective. Wait, four is an adjective? Four is not an adjective. Wait, it is, Mom? That seems weird. How can four be an adjective? Hand fingers. Hands. Now I'm going to do fingers. Teeth. <laughs> Perfect. Hairs, scapula, four foxes. <laughs> four foxes? As your mom says. Oh. Fair. Well. Huh. I thought adjectives. I mean, I, look, if I'm going to. Well, the four is not describing the foxes. It's telling you how many foxes I'm there are. Gonna right? I'm going to say. I'm going to say she's right. That she's one the... of the people is an English professor and one isn't. That's true. So I'm yeah. going to go ahead and believe the English professor over the philosophy one, which I know is a lot no, of English in there. That's fair. No, writing. she's she's better at that than I am. Uh, verb. I need one verb. One verb. Verb it. My stomach's about to growl. Oh, cat says she just got home with the cats. Extruded. <laughs> Extruded. Oh. That's a good oh, one. Oh, God. It's going to be horrifying. Four is a numerical adjective. Weird. I never even thought about that, but okay. I mean, look, if my mom says it's right, then I'm going to believe her. Oh, she's delayed like two minutes because of that stuff. Spit? No, it's uh, it's already done. I think that's all of them. Okay, you ready? I think, are we ready? I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Here, Katie, you ready? Here is a Mad Libs called A Spy Birthday Party. It's always a spy. Is this just well, a specific it's because spy? It's, uh, oh. it's spy-based Mad like, Libs. I was like, why is it we always We need to get a, a new like random Mad yeah. Libs that we need. All right. Uh, when I turned six years old, Ooh. my mom and cat food threw a sketchy spy-themed birthday party oh, for that's me. Nice. I invited ten of my closest pens, and we spent a brusque afternoon doing cool spy stuff. Oh. We slipped black sunglasses over our fingers, grabbed shiny toy cell phones, shiny toy toy cell phones. <laughs> it's harder to say than it should be, and practiced our surveillance techniques with a game of hide and extrude around in my backyard. <laughs> Hide and extrude. Let's, let's go play that game. <laughs> well, I told you it was going to be gross. Yeah. Uh, we decoded small messages that my parents had written on colorful mugs. We pounded a phone-shaped pinata with a wooden pie. And we put spy tattoos like binoculars, computers, and micro beans all over our teeth. Micro beans. All over our teeth. Yeah. Uh... Later, my mom served cake and rubber bands, and everyone sang "Sleek Birthday" to me. I got a ton of a t <laughs> I got a ton of, a ton of long-nosed gifts, and my favorite was a motion-activated aardvark that would alert me to any rocket about to sneak into my room. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Every actually. good spy would, needs one of these. Yeah. There you go. Spy I think birthday you should party. read them slower. Oh. 
Just because we can, there's so much information of trying to see how funny things are. Can we do it again? No, I'm not trying to be critical. It's just yeah. after doing that, I think that my brain just can't even catch up to the ridiculousness yeah. of them. Can we do it again? I don't know. Ask everyone else. I don't. Do y'all need me to? Y'all need to go I was reading it over your shoulder too, so I don't know if I need it. Oh, my stomach's <laughs> growling like crazy, guys. Whew. Ooh, uh, again. Oh man, y'all want to do another one? I mean, I'm down for another one before pizza time. Oh, and breadsticks? Ugh. I'm so Adjectives hungry. tell what kind, which one, how many, how much, and whose. Yeah, that's way more. Yeah, no, look. I like that everyone's really into it now. I, I, I mean, look, we were learning things here. Yeah, I never really thought about what kind of part of speech a number would be, so. Yeah. All right, Kat's ready now. She's going to well, participate. All right. Um, I'm just going to, like, see, I need to count these. Um, most of them are nouns and, and adjectives. So, uh, let's see. We need the name of a person in the room. I'm going to count the chat room or whatever we want to go. Name somebody that's here or here. Oh, video got to come from the screen of chat. Weird. Video got, oh yeah. Well, now you brought in a whole conversation about, you know, numbers being adjectives. No, it's perfect. Scrags. Scrags. I like that you guys call our scrags too, and not yeah. her full name. Uh, yeah. All right, we need some adjectives. Okay, adjectives. <laughs> Mike's mom. Purple. They're gonna put some numbers in there now. Right. Dull, sexy, dull, lukewarm, revolting, green. A second sexy. I don't know if you're going to do the same one, but, yeah. You know. Wait, grain? Oh, green. Green. Sexy, tired, moist. Uh, one more. One more. Melancholic. Jeez. Oh, it's mm. cat. <laughs> okay. That should be good. Uh, give me the name of a celebrity. A celebrity. A celebrity. Well, the famous Brad Dowdy, right? It's, we always do. <laughs> Brad Dowdy. Uh, verb ending in ing. Verb and ing. Dr. Oz. <laughs> yeah, other people think Brad too. <laughs> no, Brad's got it. He's pooping. Gonna... <laughs> pooping. Okay. Yep. Uh, I need some nouns. Nouns. I really only need like two nouns. Uh, two? Three nouns. Three nouns? Four, something like that. Vacating. Chair. Chair. It's going to be a weird one. Printer. Condominium. Nintendo. Book. Dog. Pixie. Uh, that's enough. Okay. Um, oh, um, plural now. I'm going to do pixies. Uh, this cat's just sitting here purring. I don't know if they can hear it. She'll, she doesn't like that when it's closer. See, you get too close to her. Close enough. Uh, I need one, two. I need two parts of the body. Elbow. Okay. Thumb. Knee. Thumb. Armpit. Toenail. Now we got I, it. I was going to go with tongue. Thorax. Uvula. Oh, uh, uvula. uvula. I was going to say the fun. popliteal. The what? Popliteal. What's that? I believe it's the area behind the knee. Okay. Cat will tell you if it's wrong. Yeah, tell me what a popliteal is. Popliteal, popliteal fossa. fossa. Yeah. Fossa, fossa. Yeah. All right. This is from the spy file. To Agent Scraggs. Ooh. At this morning's purple management meeting, 
It was decided by Agency Chief Brad Doughty oh. that you are being assigned to the case known internally as Operation Pooping Chair. Pooping Chair. So is that like a... Um... Toilet. A turlet. Squatty potty? That's what I was going <laughs> to say. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> no. Um, this memo will provide the sexy details of the Ooh. case. And you will be briefed further in the coming week. As you may know, this case involves a band of dull thieves okay. who stole the blueprints to a top secret robot printer that threatens the security of our lukewarm country. <laughs> um, they have hidden the prints somewhere in a tired location on the outskirts of the condominium. Their leader's name is Uno Oho, which translates to Revolting Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing revolting about Nintendo. You will know him by the black eye patch he wears Ooh. over his puppeteal. <laughs> you had a puppeteal? I did, because uh, that was funny. Uh, his puppeteal fossa. Be advised that he and his group of evil pixies are armed and moist. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so use extreme caution if you come face to uvula with any of them. <laughs> As any good spy knows, you're of no use to the agency if you are melancholic. <laughs> Which okay. you will get if you come face to uvula with them. Yep. <laughs> Which is, yeah, there we go. Face to thumb was, yeah, I, I marked out thumb and put uvula. I see. Could have been face to thumb. I think uvula is funnier. Yep. So, there you go. See, right. the puppeteal is the area behind the knee. Is it? Good. See, I remembered some things from anatomy. Sounds like a bond tail. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. do. I, I don't. What do I know about I mean, mice? I taught it, so I feel like I should have remembered more. <sighs> Hairy armpit. Mm. Awesome. Thanks. All right. So that has been uh, two Mad Libs. Yeah. Done, uh, I'm going to say correctly. Uh, I'd say correctly, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, have to head to bed. Yeah. <laughs> go to bed, Claire. Yes, definitely. Got to go to bed before work, you weirdo. Uh, mm. All right. Anything else? Questions, comments, concerns? Yeah, what kind hungry. of pizza are you going to have tonight? I don't know. Probably some cheese with some vegetables on it. Mm. Likely some it. onion. Probably, yeah. Uh, raw potato. No. Uh, olive, probably. No. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 That's it. Have a good night. Glad to see your faces. Good Aww, to see you. Uh, good thanks. to be seen. Um, uh, I hope you're doing all right, Kat. Yeah. Um, Kat is on the, the front lines as a hospitalist, so everybody send some good thoughts Kat's way. Um... Also, there's this cat right here. Another one. Move, move your face this way. There you go. Perfect. There you go. Good night. Glad to see your face. Oh, good night, everyone. <laughs> I'm looking at one chat. This one's going faster. So, all right. That's it. Uh, thanks for it. She's, hang she's hanging in. That's good. Good. Um, so, uh, yeah. Wave at a doctor if you know one and see them. Don't don't hug them right now. But send no, them a wave. No, don't hug anybody. So, all right. Um, we will see y'all later. Say goodbye, Mike. Goodbye, Mike. Good job.